Another story we're following tonight, the controversial cell phone tower above an elementary school in Wyandotte, where frustration and concerns among parents continues to mount over a 5G T-Mobile antenna built on top of Washington Elementary. Tonight, the Wyandotte School Board held a special meeting where the district superintendent resigned. Our Terrell Bailey is in Wyandotte tonight with the very latest. A dramatic turn of events, the city of Wyandotte left without a superintendent. School board members announcing her resignation. Still, though, the concerns continue over a 5G antenna. I move to approve the separation agreement and release concerning Superintendent Dr. Koss, including acceptance of her resignation effective April 5th, 2023. A move that wasn't expected. Board members announcing Superintendent Catherine Koss resigned. Parents say this is a step in the right direction. We need to... Um, Feel someone in that position that's going to put our children first and uh, this is a, a great positive forward movement uh, for the tower as well. For weeks controversy has surrounded cost. Mainly parents aren't too keen on how she's handled the situation concerning the antenna. At one point representative Sheree Tanadar accused her of telling him to stay in his lane when he reached out with concerns. I also got an, a, an email from uh, uh, the superintendent uh, telling me to stay in my lane. Uh, it's not um, none of my business to be concerned about this or be, be issuing uh, any kind of a statement. Wednesday's meeting saw dozens attend. Most of it was held behind closed doors as school board members went into special session. The concerns continue to grow in the community. Local leader Representative Jim DeSanta has been a critic of the board's decision to place the antenna on school property. With this latest development, he feels things are moving in the right direction. He just wants T-Mobile to step up. I mean, we're talking about a multi-billion dollar corporation. Um, I don't think this is a huge dent to their bottom line. The safety over the antenna is what has wind out residents up in arms. T-Mobile addressed the school board last week, adding that they will delay turning the antenna on until after the school year is over, which is in June. The company also says they plan to look into concealing the antenna, and they are also considering removing the generator on site. Still, though, Parents reminding school board members what they're advocating for. But a lot of us um, aren't looking just for the tower not to be turned on in order to stay at the school. We are looking for it to be removed. Right now with the superintendent gone, the school board president tells me an interim will be chosen. That will be determined at a later date. For now, reporting in Wayne County, I'm Terrell Bailey for CBS News, Detroit.